Irrespective of which industry you work in, the generation of wire names functionality in E3 series will speed up your design and allocation of wire numbers. Adding wire numbers to your project could not be simpler. The settings menu allows you to define and combine wire attributes which will then be used to automatically allocate the wire numbers. Activating the Assign Wire Names Automatically tick box then allows you to create a prefix or suffix for the wire name. Then pick the required attributes. Individual separators can also be added. Once the settings have been defined, the users only then need to add the wires to the connections in the project. As the wires are now added, the cores conductors are then automatically assigned with the relevant prefix, separator and attributes. Such as here, we see the prefix, the signal name and the cross section. Any change in the wire type then shows up in the subsequent wire names. For projects containing passive devices, such as the inline connectors we see here, the suffix and prefix can be used to automatically increment the wire names. The signals on either side of the pins of P2 and J2 are identical, and so the prefix is incremented on the connections running from J2 to P3. It's also possible to modify already placed wires. Here we can modify the prefix from a numeric to alphabetic increment. Then, selecting the wires in the device tree, we can select the option to generate new wire names, and the prefix is now modified on the wires in the project. Fewer clicks and more control with E3 series from Zookin. For more information on E3 series from Zookin, please visit our website at zookin.com slash e3series.